Chevy Suburban. I guess this, if I had a Chevy Silverado, it would have worked out cool, but we're going to do it on this one. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to me. I'm cutting it on. Except I don't have a P.O. box. I used to have one, but used to. So let's see what we got in this box. All right, uh... Is this the headlight? So I guess this is the uh, side marker. Um, got black housing, if I can peel this back some. Yeah, it's black housing basically. And I'm trying to see what side what this head went on. Uh, looks like it could be, this one is for the driver's side. And this one is for the passenger side. And it will go just like that. And um, these are simple to install. Don't take much anyway to get the headlight out. Uh, the side marker, I gotta see what's holding that in. Probably something simple. Uh, let me do this uh, headlight. Oh, I guess what I had in my, head, in my hand was the headlight. Now these are the side markers. I'm all stupid, don't mind me. So yeah, these are, the housing is black too. And um, these are simple. So what I'm gonna do in a second is remove this headlight. I guess, do I need to show you how to remove it? Probably so, but it's two pins holding in the headlight. And um, we'll go from there. So let me work on that first. So I guess this is real simple. Headlight is held in by two pins, as I say. So it's locked in a place that's stationary. So just latch them over. Them up both same size can't mess up and I guess this pulls out just this way yours might not come out as simple as mine but I'm pretty sure you get the idea and then we're gonna unhook these uh low beam connector and the high beam connector and I guess I'm gonna be reusing the uh bulbs again All right. John's ain't been off since 1920 Oh, here we go. Wrong way. I'm out here talking shit. Latch them over. Lock them in place. Alright, so they, the bulbs are not going to sit in properly, but as long as they lock in a place in the sill, you don't want moisture to come in here. So let's Connect them. Actually, let me disconnect them because I'm going to get this uh, bottom uh, park light off. That's what we call it. So let me set this back in the box. And then this park light looks like there's a little tab you press on this corner on the out part of the outside of the car. Undo the bulb, and then it comes out. Hit the tabs, a couple tabs you're gonna press. Mom, y'all said these joints ain't come on, come off since 1920, so you're gonna have to give it a little bit muscle. And these uh, lights are marked left hand or right hand, whichever side you want. So pretty much it's dummy proof, and it only fits one way anyway. So if I can get some of these uh, plastic that they cover. I guess uh, let nothing get inside of the housing, especially dirt, because that could help burn your bulb out fast. My side marker right here, or whatever flash with the turn signal. And these lock, lock into place just like how you would do for your factory one. Get this hornet back in. I'm gonna leave y'all the link in the description too for where you can order these. Actually, I'll leave it in right now. And then um, click the link, to make sure so I can get paid too. But I believe there's maybe special pricing or something on it. I gotta double check with y'all. And that's locked into place. And next is my headlight. Let me get this plastic off. 
I don't need that part. That's for the adjuster. Now I'm not showing y'all how to adjust y'all headlights too. Uh, that's something I could show y'all in a different video. And then too, I needed to be nighttime because I'm gonna have to aim these on a, a, a wall. That's the getaway I do those. And um, I'm able to do both headlights that way and adjust it to where I needed it to be adjusted. That's for you to figure out. And I'm pretty sure motherfuckers like Chris Fix got a video out for that. So actually inside first, just like that. Then get your pins in. Make sure your pins drop in all the way. If not, then your light ain't in right. Sometimes you might gotta help line them up. All right, that locks in, that latch in. And I guess next I'm gonna uh, do the other side. I do notice there is some type of space right here where this grill at, but I guess uh, I can make some type of adjustment. So I'm not worrying about that. They left the adjuster on there, so that's perfectly fine. But from my angle, it uh, looks good. Let me back the camera up and just to compare it for the uh, driver's side. So let me knock out the driver's side real quick. Alright, next, excuse the wind noise, a little windy, but I'm going to start it up, man. Let me get these uh, old lights out. I guess uh, I'm going to save them. Always save your old parts in case something go wrong with the part you just installed. And that way, you got a temporary part to use until your replacement comes through. Don't worry about my bug uh, deflectors.